man G coming back at you one more again. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can upload your videos to YouTube without having to go through Cyberlink PowerDirector. This comes as a request due to uh, a viewer who has been having issues with uploading his videos from Cyberlink Power Director where the video is being displayed as side by side so it's like the video he has you're actually looking at it twice where for some odd reason when he uploads it from Cyberlink to YouTube the uh, video comes out side by side so I do know that there have been some issues when uploading your videos through Cyberlink Power Director to your YouTube account and I stopped doing that method a while ago because I was having issues to where it would give me an error message or it would kick back saying the file was too large it's been a long time and I'm not exactly sure uh, what the issue was I never did resolve it I just went through the normal way of having uploaded going through YouTube so I'm going to demonstrate that as of now so you don't have that issue or if you do come across an issue where you're not able to upload your video through the uh, Cyberlink Power Director program in case you have issues with that so once you've made your video you're going to um, open up your Cyberlink Power Director program and you're going to produce it you're going to go through the normal way of producing it and once you've saved it in your computer um, say like if it's a you know wherever you're gonna save it to um, you're going to find out where the video is in this case I'm gonna use this uh, video titled one for a um, for an example so right now it is saved in this PC my videos folder Okay, once you've established that, you're going to go to your YouTube page. I'm going to bring this over. You're going to go to your YouTube page and you're going to click on Create and you're going to click on Upload Video. Once you've, once Upload Videos interface window comes up, you can click here to upload your video or select files. It doesn't matter. Either, either one will have your, um, Windows Explorer open up and you want to navigate to where the video is in this case once again is this PC videos and I'm going to click on the video and this will launch and it'll show that uh, it'll bring you here to the details you can give it a title uh, if you want say example or whatever you want to give it a title and you can give it a description like sample video of graphic and then from here you click a thumbnail or allow YouTube to create the uh, thumbnail yourself if you've been uploading YouTube you know all about this this uh, step right here uh, next um, and then if you want it private you can have a private or public you can have it public and um, and then you hit publish and then from there you can um, if you hit publish I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish uh, it will be pub your video is still uploading will be public once uploading and processing finish keep this browser tab op open until uploading completes now I'm gonna close this out and I'm actually going to stop the upload because I don't need to do it but this is just an example cancel the upload okay and that's pretty much it um, you should have your video upload within whatever amount of time it takes for it to upload usually depends on the upload speed of your ISP internet service provider but once it finishes uploading um, YouTube will then go through a process of rendering it putting in captions closed captions and uh, you know making it in hard definition format or 4k format whichever it is but once it's done uh, you should be able to view it and hopefully the video will come out a-okay from your point 
So, and that's pretty much it. Um, I would say do this alternative rather than going through Cyberlink's Power Director. It takes a while for Cyberlink to fix issues when it comes to the program um, of Power Director. I don't understand why, but I find that waiting around for them to get a fix for it is a little too lengthy and it's not worth me wasting my time waiting on them to fix something especially if there's another alternative so I don't have a problem with using the program but as far as that uh, updates or uh, fixes for bugs or issues that's what I do have a problem with so I hope this helps you guys out you all take care be safe and peace out